Good morning students. I am Nirali Jatloja from Microbiology Department of Srimati Jaya Patel Mila Science College, Morbi. Today I would like to explain one topic from your paper number MB301 of Microbiology. So now we are going to start our topic 2.2. Good morning students, I am Nirali Jatloja from Microbiology Department of Srimati Jaya Patel Mila Science College, Morbi. Today I would like to explain one topic from your paper number MB301 of Microbiology. So now we are going to start our topic 2.2. Microaerophilic gram negative bacteria and in two point two, two point two point one is motile helical and vibrioid. Now, what is the aerobic and what is the microaerophilic gram negative organism? First of all, what is aerobic? Aerobic it means bacteria, aerobic bacteria which need oxygen to live. Aerobic bacteria need oxygen to live and microaerophilic organism it means they require reduced oxygen concentration for growth right so aerobic organism it means they need oxygen from atmosphere and microaerophilic it means micro it means uh, they need reduced the level of oxygen. Reduce it means less, less than 21 percent, uh, usually 2 to uh, 10 percent. So now again question arise, what is a motile, what is a helical and what is a vibrioid? So motile or motility it means Motile or motility, it means the ability of an organisms to move by itself. is called motility and what is a helical it means a spiral shape organism helical it means spiral shape bacteria Bacteria. For example, Helicobacter pylori, Helicobacter pylori. This is just example. 
Now, what is the Vibrio? Having cold or coma said, right? For example, this one is. Vibrio and this is a coma side or coma form. Bidelo Vibrio. Right. This is example. Helical and Vibrioid. In case of helical, helicobacter pylori and Vibrioid one, Bidelo Vibrio. Now we are going to start some characteristics of these organisms. So this bacteria have the following characteristics. First one is so this bacteria have the following characteristics. First one is the cells are rigid, the cells are rigid and vibrioid having less than one ton or twist and helical having one too many tons or twist second one characteristics is this wing by means of polar flagella. You all are know that what is the flagella. So this bacteria swing by means of a polar flagella. In plural, polar flagella two types. First one is the monopolar First one is monopolar and second one is bipolar. You all are study arrangement of flagella on bacterial assay. In a monopolar flagella observe on one side only and in a bipolar Flagella present on both this side. Third one characteristic is that they are they are aerobic or microaerophilic. They are 
एरोबिक और माइक्रो एरोस्पेलिक एज यू ओल आर नो दैट एरोबिक ऑर्गेनिजम नीड एटमोस्फेरिक ऑक्सीजन इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट एरोबिक ऑर्गेनिजम नीड ऑक्सीजन टू लाइव अंडर एटमोस्फेरिक कंडीशन इट मींस इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट एंड माइक्रो एरोफिलिक ऑर्गेनिजम नीड रिड्यूस्ड लेवल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन फॉर ग्रोथ इट इज लेस देन ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट टिपिकली इट इज टू टू टेन परसेंट सो नाउ फोर्थ वन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज they attack few or no carbohydrates they attack few or no carbohydrates it means some organisms can demolish carbohydrate and some can not demolish carbohydrates for example azospirillum azospirillum organism can use uh, carbohydrates in form of fructose and many monosaccharides but some organisms cannot demolish carbohydrate for example aquaspirillum right so now fifth one characteristic is that give usually positive oxidase test oxidase this is the one name of the test performed in microbiology laboratory so oxidase test is test oxidase test is a test used to identify that bacteria identify bacteria that produce cytochrome c oxidase cytochrome c oxidase again question arise you think that what is a cytochrome c oxidase this is one enzyme now six one characteristic most of the organisms are harmless saprophytes and occur in a fresh water or marine environments so look what is the six number characteristic most of the organisms are harmless saprophytes and occurs in fresh water or 
marine environments again question arises what is the saprophytes so saprophytes or is also called sapro sapro is any organism organism that feeds and grow on that feeds and grow on dead organisms so what is saprophytes is any organism that feed and grow on dead organisms or dead materials for example uh, plants etc right so six one characteristic is most of the organisms are harmless saprophytes so these organisms are occur in fresh water or marine environments but few are parasitic few are parasitic and can be pathogenic for human animals or other organism or bacteria so few are parasitic and can be pathogenic for human and animal or other organism here two question arise what is a parasite and what is a pathogenic parasitic it means organism that lives in another organism parasitic it means it means organisms that lives in another organisms and pathogenic bacteria are bacteria that can cause disease right so pathogenic bacteria pathogenic bacteria are bacteria that can cause disease right so this all are some characteristics of aerobic or microaerophilic motile helical and vibrio organisms right thank you